Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go. Yeah, these scriptures save my life. That will never change. That will never change. No. Every single day I strive to see them heaven's gates, to see them heaven's gates, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these scriptures save my life. That don't ever change, that don't ever change, no, no. Every single day I strive to see them heaven's gates, to see them heaven's gates. I actually, I actually wanted to join a congregation like you. No, I'm, what I'm saying is like, I know, I remember that a couple years ago, this used to be called Tent City, right? I don't remember. You don't, no. know, you don't know that? I was in here, sir. What, what it was like is that from that block to this block, around the corner, this all black people were living in tents out here. Okay. Just like, like when city. you go to oh, California, okay. you can find blocks for miles. Yeah, yeah which I, is know. I know. I know about that. But they don't show this on TV and television because they don't want us to realize how much of our people are actually in poverty. We come out here because we want to show our people another way of life. That there's another way to go about living our life as black and Hispanics. That there's a way for us to get out from being the low to the high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So your, your name is Oren, right? Oren. Oren. Oh, say it one more time. Oren. Oh, Oren. Oh, I'm going to say Oren. I'm Captain Yasasad. Let me read one, one quick scripture and I'm going to deal with you. Right? Get out of here. No problem. Give me one second. Give me two verse two. Yeah. Yeah. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 17. Bring it out. And what's the way ye do in word or deed? Do all in the name of the other one you have a shot. Give me thanks to God and the Father by him. So basically, if we operate, we come out here to teach the word of God, we always have to come out here and teach the word of God under a structure and order. So which means it has to be done through the will of the Father, through his son of his, his son in Christ. Right? So you said you had a question. What's your question for me, brother? Oh, um, there's there's no actually real question. Mm -hmm. Me and my me and this gentleman were talking, and I was like, "Hey, man, I like the structure. I, I, I want to be a part of something." Well, no problem. Well, you know, you, then, you recognize that you're an Israelite already, right? Sir. Hmm. Sir. Right. And you know what tribe you come from? Sir. Okay. What's your ethnicity? As in, uh, so-called? Are you Haitian? No. Jamaican? No. What's your ethnicity? I'm British. So would you say that your your father was born here in America? No. Where was your father born? Uh, he was born in Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. Oh, so your father was born in Saint Lucia. So when you go but, to the Bible, come look at this chart real quick for me. You see that bottom chart right there? What what does that say on what what does that say in the bottom? Uh, Puerto Rico. No, the last one. West Indies. And what what's the name that's on top of it? Uh, ben. John, I mean... No problem, I got you, brother. That's what we came out here for. Sure. That's the tribe of Benjamin. That's, That's right. right. That's right. I'm happy to say today that you are not only just an Israelite, but you're also the tribe of Benjamin. That's, That's right. right. And there's a lot of pride that you should take in. We as black people here in America, we're not, we're not taught to have pride in who we are. Because all we're taught is that we're niggas and we're blacks and we steal and we scam each other and we kill each other. But that's not all God ever wanted from us. What God wanted us to do is to keep his commandments, right? Take pride in that. Take pride that you're his chosen people, right? And there's a way to do that. Let's get to our 7 verse 6. Let's see what the Bible says. I'm going to show you real quick. You know what I mean, this is something that we have to learn as black and Latino people. Because both of us are on, 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 on below on this earth. Nobody wants to hire us. And when they do want to hire us, they just want to abuse us for hours and hours and hours. And then throw, throw us away like we're garbage. Sure. But God didn't create us to be garbage. Right. God created us to be his chosen people. Right. Right? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art in holy people. My brother, my brother Orhan. Read it one more time. For thou art in holy people. My brother Ohan. For thou art in holy people. One more time. For thou art in holy people. One more time. For thou art in holy people. God is saying that you're holy. God is saying that you're special. Hey, listen, when God, give me one second, gangster. one second, brother. God is saying you're special. God is saying that you're holy. God ain't saying you're a nigga. God ain't saying you're black. God is saying you're an Israelite. That's what he's saying. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God. One more time. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto white people. Unto the Lord thy God. No, we just niggas. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Most High God. That's what we are. 
We're special on this earth. We can't allow people who are less than us, like Caucasian, Chinese, Arabs, to tell us that who we are. The Bible tells us who we are. And that's where the chosen people of Israel. That's, yeah, that's right. who we are. Right? Give me the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 22. Bring it I'm going to show you, brother. This is, what, this is what God created us to be. Give me that scripture real quick. Uh, nation, kings, and priests. Let me get that scripture real quick for this, brother, man. Because that's what our people need, man. We're, we're treated like garbage. We're treated like garbage, and we're treated as something you just take, use, and throw away. But that's not what God intended for us. Right? You got that verse one? Go ahead. The book, of, the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 2. Bring it up. You only have I known. What about Bible say? You only have I known. One more time. You only have I known. My brother Ohan. You only have I known. He said, you only have I known. That's right. He only knows us as black and Latino people, man. God chose us. He created every nation on the earth. But you know what? Because God loves you so much, he looks at them and says, I don't give a damn about you. I care about him. Right. I don't want him living on the streets. I don't want him struggling. I don't want him suffering. I don't want him to flinch whenever a police officer pulls up. I want him to be secured. I want him to be living in a mansion. I want him to be driving a bench. That's how the most I want you wants for you. But it's something he wants back from you, though. He can't just give you everything. That's not how a relationship works. You know what I mean? Imagine you have a girl and you, you just give her everything. You give her money. You give her a shelter, a place to live. You, give, you put clothes on her back. You give, you, put all, you give her all those things. Well, you think that relationship going to last? It's not. Before you know it, she's going to get spoiled and then she's going to start cheating behind your back. Right. She's going to start dealing with another nigga. And that's what we did to God, man. You know how we did that? By going to the Christian church. They don't teach us nothing. Don't teach us about God and who we are and what we need to do to, to please him. Not all about us all the time, but how to please him. Or we become Muslims, a fake holy person, man. We got to stick right here in the Bible. This That's is the blueprint. Right. That's right. 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 Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. What is that? Of all the families of the earth. No, God cares about Caucasian. Of all the families of the earth. Chinese. Of all the families of the earth. Don't they got robots over there? Of, of all, all the families, families of the earth. God said, I don't care what the nations are doing. They got the Alpha Tire over there, the Alpha tire, uh, Tower over there in Paris. They got the Twin Towers here in America. They had all these different things that they built. The pyramids in Egypt. God don't care about none of that. They can put all their achievements together, and God is going to say, I don't care about that. I care about these Negroes and Spics, man. That's and right. Negroes and Latinos. These Negroes and Natives. That's I care right. about them. I care about their suffering. That's what God cares about. Give me your scripture. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 10. Bring it up. And has made us unto our God kings and priests. What did God make us? Kings and priests. One more time. Kings and priests. God said, I made you kings and priests. That's right. That's what we are, brother. Your, your brother, your father from the West Indies that make you from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. The king of our nation was the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. Paul was a Benjamite. All right? These were mighty men in the Bible. That's who you come from. You don't just come from some random black people in Africa swinging on some trees or some garbage or half naked. Hold on one second, brother. Some half naked niggas. No, we came from kings and priests. That's right. Royalty. Right? Read on. God. And he and we shall reign on the earth. One more time. And we shall reign on the earth. And that's so beautiful. It said we're gonna reign where? On this earth. That's right. Why? And that, how does that contradict Christianity? Christianity got you coming over there, giving your pastor all the money, and he tells you, look at you in your eye, so disrespectful, and tell you, you're going to get blessed by God after you die. Mm. Tell that, and that, that's depressing. Imagine you tell that to a little boy, a little girl, who don't got no food in their stomach, sleeping in the dark, and then you tell that child, you're going to be good. God's going to bless you after you die. That's terrible. And that's what we all went through. Right? But there's a better way than this. That's right. Where am I getting this? Am I getting this from my opinion? No, I'm getting it from the Bible. That's right. right. That's where I'm getting it from. Let's see according to the Bible. Psalms 107. Get Psalms 107 verse 29. Yeah, Give me the book me, of um, why you representing Deuteronomy why chapter 10 verse 12. Why you Let's see according to the Bible. No problem, brother, but let me deal with him real quick first. I got you. I got all the breakdown and explanation for it. Let me get you real quick, brother, and, and then we're going to deal with his question. I'm just nothing, brother. Go against. No, you well, good. But let's read it real quick. Go ahead, read that. Why so the 107 verse 10. Read up. Such as sit in darkness. One more time. Such, Such as, as sit in darkness. darkness. We have to be realistic to what happened to us. 
If we're living like this, it must be something we did to disobey this guy. We must have disobeyed something. We must have turned left when he wanted want us to go right. Right? Read that. Such as sit in darkness. And that's us as black and Latinos. We sit in darkness here in America. Right? Read on. And in the shadow of death. And this is the shadow of death. There's many communities just like this all over America where you have black and Hispanic people, they're homeless, they're suffering, they're being oppressed by either police officers, by Caucasians, whatever. Caucasians and people can walk through this neighborhood and feel fine. But for us, we know at any moment I can turn around that corner and some, my brother can stab me. My sister can rob me. Uh, my oppressor, the so-called white man, can come around that corner and shoot me and said he was scared, he was scared for his life right. and get away with it. That's how life is for us here. But is that what God wanted though? That's the question we have to ask. Read. Oh, God. Being bound in affliction. Uh -huh. Being, what? Being bound, bound in affliction. We're bound in affliction here. Read on. And iron. Mm -hmm. Because they rebelled against the words of God. Because they what? Because, because they, they rebelled, rebelled against, against the words of God. God. We rebelled against the words of God. Right? And it's just like any good old father. Right? A good father will do what? Your son is disobeying you? Okay, you know what? You didn't want to learn the easy way, so you got to learn what? The hard way. One more time? The hard way. And that's how Negroes and Latinos are learning. That's right. We're learning the hard way, but it doesn't have to always be like that. There's something better tomorrow. See what I'm saying? But if we don't know what it is, then we're always just feeling hopeless. Feel like I don't. It don't matter. I could smoke this weed. I could smoke this black. Maybe let me do a little crack. Let me do a little shrooms. Let me do a little bit of this because tomorrow is going to be the same way today. But when you got this Bible, it tells you there's more coming. There's more that's coming for us. Read on. Because they rebelled against the words of God and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Come on. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. One more time. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. And what's, what do we always see on TV? Their, their solution to us in black and Latinos and our troubles and our, and our problems here in America is what? They need you more jobs. Right. Give the niggas more jobs. Right. Right. We're going to help them. We're going to help you black people. We're just going to give you more jobs. Right. More jobs to do what? More jobs to what? Build up America, the place where our ancestors were brought as slaves. More jobs to do what? Be away from our children, right? Our children grow up on TV. SpongeBob's their parent now. Right. Right. So I'm saying? Dora explores their mother. So I'm saying? That's the thing, that's what happens when they just give us more jobs, more jobs, more jobs. Listen, as God chosen people, working a job is a goddamn curse, man. That's right. It shouldn't have been like that. But there's a way to go about it. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Come on. This book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Read so, up. Let's learn what does God require from you. Uh, 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 say your name one more time. Ohen. 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 Go ahead. Come on. And now, Israel, what does the Most High thy God require of thee? So, Brother Ohen, you should already know. Whenever you open the Bible, you see Israel. Don't think some per some white man or some person somewhere else. Think who? Think of yourself. That's Ohen God is speaking to. He's speaking to me. Read on. But to fear the Most High God. What God want? But to fear the Most High God. He wants you to fear him. Read on. To walk in all his ways. And to walk in all his ways. Read on. And to love him. One more time. And, and to, to love him. him. Now, how do you love God? That's, 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 okay, you go about spending your life loving God. But how do you show it? Oh. How? Wow. Medi medi meditation. First, second, praise. Se third, psalms. Fourth, meditation. Okay, okay, meditation, meditation. Okay, so let's see like this. Whenever you're not med meditating, would you say that you're not loving God? Just take one step. You're good, brother. It's all good, brother. But the question is, whenever you're not meditating, would you say that you don't love God? No, of, of course, course not. Of course. There's, 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 there's things. Of course. There's, you're, you're always playing. So if you don't... Pray, pray without ceasing. Absolutely. So let's course, say... Let's say Let's say you don't pray at all. You got Columbia, Columbia here. Columbia? No problem, brother. You can stay for You don't have to be scared. You, you, my family, man. Don't worry about it. I mean, right now we're just dealing with the the broad question: How do you show God love? How do you show God love? The brother said meditation, reading the scriptures, and prayer. How about you, brother? How do you show God love? Show love to the community. One more time. Show love to your brothers, your people. Okay, okay, okay. But you know what? I will say this: That could vary by each person. Because the first color right here, right? They say 
loving my my give me live my loving God is loving my community that reps this color. And then this community can say, me loving God is loving these people who wear this color. And you know how I show them love who wear this color? By killing these niggas. Right. And you know how I show them love? By killing those niggas. So is that really the love of God? No. So let's see what the Bible says the love of God is. Let's get 1 John 5 and 3. Right. Let's get John 14, 15. Let's see what the Bible says. Go ahead. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. What did the Bible say? For this is the love of God. So nobody can go around this. This is the love that we all have to follow if we want to love God. That's right. Right? Read on. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That, that we, we keep, keep his commandments. commandments. That we keep his commandments. That's the most important thing. Right? right? When we go to church, how, mu how much do they actually emphasize that to us? That, yo, you, I understand you respect God, you come here to church, but do you keep his commandments, though? How many times do you hear that? Yeah, God. Huh? Need to come out with my Hold on, one second, brother. One I second. What about you, brother? Well, when, have you ever been in church before? Of course. Have they ever told you, yes, I know you love God, you respect Him, but do you keep God. His commandments? Do they say that? Yes. How many commandments have they taught you? Uh, uh, ten. Ten? What about you, brother? How many commandments are there? Ten? Ten? Well, guess what? Get ready. Don't drop, don't drop anything. Ready? It's actually 613 commandments. Over 613 commandments. And one of those Ten Commandments teaches you there's more. You know why? One of them is, thou shalt not kill. Right? Thou shalt not kill, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is there ever a time in your life where you need to kill somebody? I like yes or no? Yeah. No? I like no? Yeah. What about you? So the I let it get out really. really. You sure? Right now, I can't tell you. <laughs> no problem. No problem. I can't tell you. So now I see this. Kill be Boom. Kill. It's KRK okay, okay, right now. Right. Imagine you sleeping at home with your wife. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Your children's in bed. Okay, and okay. some man is climbing through the window no to kill you, your wife, and your children. And your gun is sitting right there on the, on the, on the shelf. What are you going to do? Let him live. What about you? What about you? He's gone. Huh? He's gone. Huh? He's gone. Oh, wait, come on. I need you to say that on the mic. Listen to his answer, brother. Yeah. What are you going to do? He's gone. He's gone. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. You know why? You know why we're stopping? It's because in God's infinite knowledge, he saw that situation. God knows there's going to be a situation where some nigga's going to climb through your window to steal from you or kill you. God understands there's going to be a situation when you want to spend a nice afternoon with your woman and some man wants to do what? Harm you or your wife. God knows that. That's the reason why that commandment is not thou shall not kill. It's literally thou shall not murder. In the Hebrew, hold on one second. In the Hebrew, it's the word ratazak, right? But they don't teach us this in the church. Because when you go a couple verses more, you have people killing other people. And God awards those people who did it. Like David. Didn't David kill with Goliath? Of course. Ah, well, oh, smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot others. Because you know what that was? Too. Exactly. You know what that was? That wasn't killing. That wasn't murder. That was defending his people. Oh, that's, that's what it was. That's, that's Question. Exodus twenty-two and two. Exodus twenty-two and two. Let's see that according to the Bible. It goes along with the the murder. All right. Let's see according to the Bible. This is the book of Exodus chapter twenty-two, verse two. Bring it out. If a thief be found breaking up. A thief come, one more time. If a thief be found breaking up. Right, he breaking into your crib, read on. And be smitten that he die. So the Lord is saying, if a person climbing through your window, come into your house to take from you or to harm you, read on. There shall no blood be shed for him. And that man dies, read on. That's what I meant. And there's no blood that's going to be shed from, which means yeah. nobody's going to say, oh, this guy did this, this, that, a third. No. You was defending your property. You was defending what belongs to you. You was defending your life and all those that's in your household. That's right. So God understands that. But do they teach us in church? Do they teach us that? But one second. How can you put blood was shed, no blood shed, and them dying? That means blood was shed. Stop messing with them strategically. You know what, brother? I love your spirit, but give me one second, I'll deal with you. One. Appreciate you. Now let's That's let's one. go back to the love. All right, I really <laughs> meant an hour. That's why I want to say. You know, you know our slang. I really meant an hour. So now let me do. Let me deal with you. Let me, that me up, brother. Right now. It's Come on, brother. That me up. Right now, it's the time. There you go. Appreciate you, brother. Let now give me one second. Give me one second. Now let's go back to the love, brother. Well, you got the first one, brother. 
Go ahead, let, 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 let me ask you a question now. Hold on, let me read this and I'm going to answer your sure. question. The book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. One more time. For, For this, this is the love of God. God. This is the love of God. Read on. That we keep his commandments. Yeah. That we do what? That, that we, we keep, keep his commandments. commandments. That we keep his commandments. Everyone. That's the most important thing. Now, brother. I know. I understand that you're you're just beginning your path, and you want to serve God, and you want to love God, yes, right? right? But one of the things you have to work on, and I I, I noticed it, is that smoking. Sir, you, you gotta stop smoking, brother. That's now I'm gonna read you a verse, and I want to test you. Real quick. All right, let's get let's get you a real quick test. First Corinthians three and sixteen. First Corinthians six and nineteen. Let's see according to the Bible. Go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Read out. Know ye not. What the Bible say? Know ye not. not. Don't you know this? Read on. That ye are the temple of God. Brother, a part of us not being niggas no more, black anymore, a color in a crayon box, a color in a marker, a mark, a marker box. The part of us letting that go and putting upon us our true heritage, that we're the 12 tribes of Israel, is that we have to let go what's been taught to us, like Christianity, smoking weed or smoking what? Eating pork, you know what I mean? Sleeping with each other wives, stealing from each other, scamming each other. We gotta let all those things go. All right, read on, read on what to keep going. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And the Spirit of God dwells within you. So you defiling your, you defiling your body, man. I know you have you ever heard black people say that we're gods? We're not black. We're gods. Are we we're gods, brother? No, sir. Are you sure? We're not There's black. only one. You ready? There's only one. Are you ready for one answer? Yes, sir. Give me my precept. Let's see what according to the Bible. That, that's a bigger part. You stay where you at. There's a bigger part of us not defiling our body. Not only is the spirit of God is within us, but we as the children of Israel, black and Latinos, we are gods, man. We're right. gods, brother. Read that scripture one more time. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defiles the temple of God, him. Hold on. Go ahead. Get yours. So, this is, yeah, you got it. This book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. Read it up. I have said. What the Bible say? I, I have said. said. One more time. I have said. The Bible says, I have said. Read on. Ye are gods. One more time. Ye are gods. So it's important that we don't smoke. We don't get tattoos. We don't scam each other. We don't kill each other. We don't oppress each other, man. All right? Read on. That we are what? That ye are gods. Come on. And all of you are children of the Most High. And we're the children of the Most High, but don't ignore that part. That's right. You are a god, but you're also the child of God. That's, That's right. That's why you can't be smoking. This is the reason why there's a stipulation of us smoking. Because if we smoke, this is why God is going to do this. Read. God. Verse 17, if any man defile the temple of God. Because being a God, if you defile the temple of God, which is your body, read on. Him shall God destroy. Now your God got to destroy you. Check it out. Because you're disrespecting him. Your body doesn't belong to you. First Corinthians 6 and 19, your body doesn't belong to you. All right, read that scripture. God, it's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Read it out. Know ye, it's like you, know what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of God? Which ye have of God. Read on. And ye are not your own. What it say? And ye are not your own. One more time. And, and ye are not your own. When you come to God, if you want to serve the God of this Bible, and you want to do what's right, you have to come with the spirit of, I can't do whatever I want anymore. Oh, that's you got to right. let go of that spirit. You know who says that? Little teenage girls say that. Right? You can't, be, you can't come over here with the spirit of a teenage girl. Right? You come over here, God is gonna make you a man. That's right. God is, better than that, God is gonna make you a God, man. That's, That's right. right. That's what he's gonna make you on this earth. Right? Read that. Verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. What did the Bible say? For ye are bought with a price. God bought us. How did he buy us? By giving us all these blessings. He made us better than every nation on this earth. More skillful, more talented, natural gifts, more handsome than all these men on these other earth. All right? And other blessings. Right? God bless us on this earth. That's right. right. Read. Therefore, glorify the Most High in your body. What does it say? Glorify the Most High in your body. So you have to glorify the Lord with your body. Now, I'm going to do, remember what I told you? I'm going to give you a test. Ready? Now, do you still have the black in your pocket? Oh, uh, black. Out me. I think I got it. Right, let me see. No, I got a vape. I got oh, you got a vape? Let me see. Now, 
I want you to do it. I don't want to do it. I can do it, and I have done it, because I came from that. I smoked. You know what I'm saying? I smoked late. I smoked weed. I smoked black. I done all of that. But I, there was a time where I had to let it go. When I came from being a nigga and became a god, I had to let it go. That's right. Right? So, are you willing to throw this away? Come on, you got the power, brother. Give brother a hand, man. Come on. You got the power, brother. You got the power, man. Take it from my hand and throw it away from me, brother. Throw it away. Do it. Come on, brother. You got it. You got it. Throw it. Just throw it, brother. Just throw it. Give it a hand, man. Give it a hand. That's right. I praise to the most high, man. That's what we came out here to do. We came to strengthen our people, man. We came out here to strengthen you. I don't have this power in myself. Me alone, I'm nothing. But through this Bible, that's why I can help you, brother. That's right. That's how I can help you. Save yourselves. Find that scripture. Save yourselves. Give me that scripture, Micah 3 and 8. Okay. Let's get that scripture real quick. Come on. I'm going to finish off with these two verses. Hello, oh, yeah. Come on. So let's get that scripture. Micah chapter 3, verse 8. Find it. Search it up in your phone. Okay, Search it. Um, save yourselves from this adulterous uh, generation. Right. Get that. Book of Micah chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it up. Said, Me and myself, I'm nothing. None of these men are nothing. We can't help you on our own. But through this word of God, through this power right here, we can help you, man. Read up. But truly, I am full of power. What the Bible say? But truly, I am full of power. What the Bible say? But truly, I am full of power. The Bible said, truly, I'm filled with power. That's right. This is power like no other on this earth. This power better than having all the money in the earth, all the drugs on the earth, all the women on the earth. This is better than all of that. Read on. By the Spirit of the Lord. By the right. By, by the Spirit, Spirit of the Lord. Lord. One more time. By the Spirit of the Lord. One more time. By, by the Spirit, Spirit of the Lord. Lord. By the Spirit of the Lord. That's right. That's why it's so powerful. That's why I'm able to help you do that. Right? I know I came from that. And when I overcame it, now I can teach you to overcome it. Right? There's some of our people that are suffering. Some of us are to one strike away, going in jail and never come back out. That's why we came out here. We came out to help y'all. Nah, right? okay. we, we, you got that scripture? Come on. Come on. This is book of Acts. Yeah, hold it. Yeah, hold it. Read that. <laughs> Micah chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. But truly, I am full of power. But is this power for everyone? Are we coming? This power that we have, are we coming out here to give it to everybody? To use it for everyone? No. I don't care about everyone else. I care about you. That's no right. Brother, right. Man. Read on. By the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment. So who sent us out here? The Spirit of the Lord. Read on. And of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto, unto Jacob. Jacob. my brother. Unto, unto Jacob. Unto him. Unto, unto Jacob. Unto all our people. Unto, unto Jacob. Jacob. Unto Jacob. Read on. His transgression. His what? His, His transgression. That was your transgression, but guess what? You have the power to throw it away. I'm not trying to help you to take a break. We all went break smoking, but guess what? I'm trying to help you get rid of it entirely. Right. That's right. That's what I'm trying to help you on. Read on. And to Israel his sins. And what? And to Israel his sins. And to Israel his sins. Right? Read your scripture. What's going on, brother? It's book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 40. Bring it out! And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourself. What about the say? Save yourself. What about the say? Save yourself. One more time. Save yourself. Save yourselves. This power that we have from the most high, we only we only have it just to give it to you so you can save yourself. Save yourself from here. This is hell, man. We come out here each week because we're trying to help each and one of our people, man. To give you that power to save yourself. But you have to start it by keeping God's commandments. That's right. where the power begins. That's right. By keeping God's commandments. Read on. Save yourselves uh -huh. from this untoward generation. Look how twisted this generation is. Transgenderism, homosexuality, drug dealing, scamming, all types of evil. My fan only account. What crazy nonsense, man. Right. You have to save yourself from that. Don't fall into that pit where everyone else. Right? And you already started the first step when you stepped up here, man. And you threw that that vape away. That's toxic. That's death, man. Right? And the most I want you to be saved, man. Give me the give me that la one last verse. One angel is uh rejoice or one sinner. You know that scripture? Get him out. Let's get that scripture. 15 and 10? All praises, all praises. Let's get that real quick for this brother, man. The book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 7. Read it out! 
us out here as, as the children of Israel, as the prophets, teachers, and teaching priests in these last days to bring our people back, man. But after all this teaching, I want you to understand, we're out here for one soul. We're out here for one soul, man. The most I don't want the whole city. He wants that one soul who's willing to repent. That's right. If you're finding yourself and you want to repent, come up here, man, and deal with us. So whatever power, whatever discipline we have, we can give it to you for free. Free. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven. What about the saying? Like, likewise joy shall be in heaven. One more time. That likewise joy shall be in heaven. Likewise joy shall be in heaven, man. Read. Over one sinner. Over what? Over, Over one, one sinner. sinner. One more time. Over one sinner. Over one sinner, man. We were all sinners, man. But we repented. And we came out here to help more people repent. Read on. Over one sinner that repented. More than not, over 90 and nine just persons. So the most I don't want everybody. He never cared about that group spirit. But he wants that one individual, man. Right. That right. one man who wants to change his life. That one man who wants to change his life. Right? The most I have you up here because he wants you to change your life, brother. That's right. And I'm going to raise up the next powerful teacher to keep edifying, man. Hey. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots. Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through the fire. This work gon' take